What's up, modern steaders? I thought today we'd do a little quick update video on the Bodrock chicks, our Icelandic chicks, and how the onion sets have started. I hope everybody had a happy Easter. We had a really good one here, had some good family time, and we got to enjoy a little bit of relaxing time, which was nice. So the Bodrock chicks are just oh, over a week old. They're doing really good. They're starting to feather out already on the wings. And they started doing that at about five days old. Just a few little feathers here. Now if you can see the, the wing feathers are really nice. They're good plump birds. The water that we built, the chicks are loving it. It's doing really good. If you haven't seen the video on that, I'll link that now. Pluto is watching them contently. She'd like a little lick. The Icelandic chicks are doing really well. They're almost completely feathered out. Okay. Oh, while I'm thinking of it before I forget again, our friend Austin over at Homesteady is doing a video series on escaping the rat race. And we did a video for him and it went up yesterday on his channel so I'm gonna link that playlist right here I think there's three videos on it right now and I think he's got at least five other channels doing videos for him and talking about escaping the rat race so the video first video he did was like a podcast video really great informational video then there was uh, Fouchomatic has their video up and then we have our video up so I'm gonna link that here go ahead and watch it and tell Austin hi from us over here Let's get back to these Icelandic chicks. They're feathering out nicely. They should be about three weeks old. Let me change the camera. There we go. The only place they really don't have any feathers yet is up here on the head and the neck. Everywhere else, it's pretty nice. The butt area has got a little bit, and that's where it's working. The tail feathers came in nice. So we're happy. These chicks are doing awesome. Once we got them home from Anna over at Salt and My Coffee blog, we haven't had to had a we haven't had to have a heat lamp on them. She didn't have a heat lamp either. She says this breed is awesome like that, and you only need to have it probably like maybe the first week. I'd have to ask her again and get that information. But for these chicks and the bod rocks we have going. They're all really healthy. We've been feeding them organic chick starter, non-medicated. And then we use apple cider vinegar, raw apple cider vinegar in their water. A couple of tablespoons, a little glug, glug, glug every time we fill up their water. It just helps boost their immune system. Some people also put garlic and some honey in the water. You can do it. To me, that seems like a lot of extra work if the chicks aren't sick and they're doing well. We just do the apple cider vinegar for maintenance. The onion sets are doing really well. We started them just the other day and they're already starting to root into the soil blocks and we're actually getting some green growth already. I'll bring you in close in a second to show you that. We had a few questions come up that people wanted to know why we were doing the onion sets inside. You can just plant them right outside in your soil. We live in a northern climate in the zone 4B well, we can't plant until, until the beginning of mid-May. Um, so we're trying to give them a jump start. If we, we've planted these outside before in the past when we lived in Vermont, and we didn't have good luck with them. And then we bought the onion plants, and they're pretty expensive. I think it's 16 bucks plus shipping for a bundle of, I want to say, 40, 45 of them, or 60 you get in a bundle. So I bought a whole pound of these sets for two dollars and fifty cents if I can start them in here and get them growing into plants and then transplant them and get a head start well, why not um, let me show you this one I don't know if you can see how it's pushed up out of the ground I don't know if you can see in there that well grab another one but it's pushed up because it's starting to root already and you can see uh, can you see it? Yeah, the little fiber right there, that's a root already coming out of the soil block. And it's been in there for two days now. I mean, that's just growing awesome. 
They sure smell like onions. This one, look at all the green growth going on already. No roots coming out the side yet. Uh, no, that's not a root. But, I mean, look at that. I think we're going to have really great success this year starting the onion sets inside like this. I found another good one that's pushed up pretty good from the roots. I think you should be able to see this one before I push it in the soil. Right here, focus camera. Can you see that? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? I'll just try to push it back down in and squish some dirt around to hold it in place. Nope. This is crazy. These onion sets are going nuts. You already got some more roots sticking out right here. Look at those, two of them. That's awesome. Ah, I bet you in a few more days, we're gonna be doing another update video and these things are gonna have taken off. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with everything that's going on around the homestead this year and especially these onion set. I mean, I bet you before Friday, what's today? Today's Monday. Before Friday, these things are gonna be taken off and going nuts. So subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up. If you have any other questions on what we're doing over here or, or if you wanna know why we're doing some of the crazy things we're doing over here, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. We're just always trying to change the status quo. So, and we challenge you to do the same thing. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres.